Okay, I'm going to answer the delicious, basic, but need to be understood question of how to make sautéed rainbow trout a la miniere. What does a la miniere mean? And it certainly can be applied to other things besides trout. A la miniere means cooked crispy, fast, in hot fat, and then over the top goes parsley, lemon juice, and brown butter. So we're going to make that version of trout. In our case, we're going to throw a little almonds on there just for fun, but it's trout a la miniere amandine, if you will. Okay? So first, this is a typical condition of a rainbow trout that you might get in the supermarket, which is exactly where I got this one. The pin bones have been removed and cut out here. And for those of you that get trout that don't have the pin bones removed, we do have that skill video for you to show you how to do that. Okay? But typically, these fatty parts of the belly, some people like them, some people don't. I would, I'm going to cook this trout based on the fact that if I was serving this to somebody and I didn't know what they wanted or didn't want, I would cut this fatty belly part off in any excess fin like I just did, okay? Now, I've got a very hot pan back here, and we're going to season the trout with salt and pepper on both sides. And typically this dish is served with the skin intact. It doesn't have to be, but... Believe it or not, the skin gets really brown and crispy, and a lot of people like it. I've served this kind of dish and this specific dish to literally to hundreds of people over the course of my life. And most of them like the skin in this particular preparation. So we're going to give me a little flour on here to kind of facilitate the browning process. And that's good enough right there. And I'm going to take some whole butter, and we're going to put it in the hot saute pan. Not too much. I've got about a tablespoon and a half to, i got maybe two ounces in here, and it's already browning. Now we're going to lay the skin side of the trout face down in the pan. And what we aren't going to do is we're not going to keep turning the trout around while it's cooking. We're going to wait until the trout is brown and crispy before we turn it over. So I want to make sure we got fat underneath it. Because remember, the definition of sautéing is cook. It's not the only definition, but it's the largest definition, which is to cook quickly in hot fat. Whether it's olive oil, clarified butter, whole butter in this case. Uh, whole butter, of course, browns faster than clarified butter because it has insolubles in it that brown faster. And this particular preparation is all about the trout being brown and crispy. So, it doesn't take that long. I don't want to look at it before I turn it over. It's looking really good. I'm going to give it about 15 to 30 more seconds on that side. So this is a fast dinner to make. You have something prepared to go with this, like noodles or pasta or cooked spinach or uncooked spinach, or you could lay this trout on top of a small bed of some kind of lettuce if you want and serve it for dinner. Um, traditionally, it's served with some kind of little veg or potato or rice. Okay, it's ready to be turned over. And again, as in every time you're sauteing something in hot fat, when you go to turn this fish over, you lean the pan down towards you like I just did, so the fat runs down. This way, when you go like that, you don't splash the fat in your own face. So you lean, lean the pan, and then flip it away from the fat. Okay, now let's give this another minute or two, just making sure it's got enough fat in there. Now, what is the effect of the miniere? This is an important part of why I'm even showing you this particular saute item. But in this saute class with the poaching, etc., this is a very basic, important thing. Hot fat, brown and crispy, quick. Those are good definitions to embed inside your mind when it comes to sauteing. Not to be confused with stir frying and things like that, which is also sauteing, but not in this way. Our effect that we're looking for here, which is the brown and crispy. So, Back to the 
effect of the manier. The effect of the, or the manier effect, if you will, is cold lemon juice and parsley squeezed on top of the fish, then the hot brown whole butter poured over it. And I'm going to show it to you right here in a minute. And you'll be able to hear the crackling of the parsley and the lemon juice. And that's what this dish is all about. Is this dish good? This dish is really good. And it's very easy. You're seeing this in all real time. And this fish is done right now. I'm going to take it out of here. And I'm going to show you that even that side's brown and crispy. You see? I'm going to lay it on the plate. I'm going to put... A pinch more whole butter, because most of that's been kind of used up. And we're going to brown that butter. While that's browning, I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice on this trout. Now, keep in mind, I'm throwing some almonds in on top of this. That's very traditional. But I could be putting capers. I could be putting minced peppers and minced mirepoix. I could put minced or chopped or roasted anything on here. The base flavors of the parsley, the lemon juice, and the brown butter go with all kinds of things. That's probably why I'm showing you this. Now I'm going to give you a fair amount of parsley on top of that fish. You see that? Now I got brown smoking butter here. You see that? Now here is your Meniere effect and the sound. So I'm going to be quiet for a second. Some might say that's too much butter or grease or whatever they want to call it on there. I don't think so. I'm going to dab a little bit of it up because right after we're finished with this particular video, we are definitely going to eat this. And here's a case where a little lemon crown might come in handy with whatever it is else that you're serving. So, there it is. One very important definition of what sauté means. This is probably one of the best, most well-known examples throughout the entire cooking world. Brook or rainbow trout sauté a la miniere. And the almonds. Boom. Or the capers, or the minced shallots, or whatever it is that you're using. There it is. Trout sauté a la miniere.